And we are back. Gonna start season five with the penguins. We left off with uh, what did we do? We just ended the year. And the Rangers are the champion. We did not make the playoffs. have a bunch of retired staff here, no one from our team. There was a patch today, so it should be fixed that a staff member who has or who is running out of contract just suddenly turns into a player and kind of disappears from the game. That should be fixed now. I think we had our goalie coach somewhere disappearing into the void that shouldn't happen anymore so players retiring Humbus Lindholm we have Charlie Lindgren Dougie Hamilton is gone Taylor Sagan who played for the flea no that's the Vancouver AHL affiliate mostly for his last year Kyle Palmieri's gone. It's some staff new. Zach Hyman retires. There was a news bit. He's looking to do that. Victor Arvidsson is out. Andrew Svee is gone. Who else? Tyler Pitlick, Justin Danforth, Boot Jenner, and the smaller names. Nick DeLaurier, Sean Couturier, Braden Shen. Brad Marchand is gone. Chris Letang retires for us. Nick Letty, Ansei Kopitar, Ekman Larsson, Matt Duchesne, and Sidney Crosby has retired. And so is his number, just as well as I think we. Yep, we have retired 58 on the team as well. So, um, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna we could do the last or a last expansion to salary cap? Just make it an even number, raise it to 110, and make the cap floor 70 million. That's all we're going to do with it. It's going to stay there for the rest of the playthrough. Wish the game did it naturally somehow. Like a small 5% increase that computer could react to. And now, uh, we have our annual budget. We are going to do the usual settings. Can go with very low budget. Uh, fortunately, we are running, or we already ran out of space in the arena. Convert some seats now. I really wanted to. that having well enough money to do it okay that should do how much is a new arena construction anyway wanted to do like a 30,000 capacity arena can we even do that no 20,000 Okay, we can do that. 28,000? No. 5? No, no. 22 we can do. Is that it? 22,999? No. 950? No. Where is the limit? I've never tried this. I guess 22,000 is the highest we can do. Okay, well. 
Probably are not gonna do that anyway. We keep the arena we have. It's pr pretty new anyway. Uh, so that's all good. The monthly is good. to do here. Good. Check our staff. That's one. Got the NHL. Okay. AHL. I thought we lost our goalie coach to that bug. But maybe it was something else. Uh, wheeling staff. Do we have money? 30k. Leon Hook is not the greatest. What about you? You're absolutely awful as well. Okay. I wonder if we can get him. Well, they would need a head coach, right? Not that we'd really care about wheeling. Just like at least halfway decent. Something like this would be better already, but there's nobody? Okay. Well. Really? Do we not have head coaches, like, at all? What's the thing? Janne Laukkanen, former senator, and Scott Burt. Okay, well, they would be probably better than the one we have. Can't even hire a head coach. Why not? Do I need to fire the previous one? Try. Can we now hire a head coach? Yes. So. Uh, none of you. How bad are you then? Uh, training, just coaching. People, generally speaking, maybe this guy. Not the greatest, though, but it's the ECHL. Can't really have him. That great of a coach there. Let's go with someone a little bit younger. Like Chris is sorry, sure. Then we'd need an kind of an overall decent assistant coach. Got like 12 across the board. Would be enough if we can afford him. So this guy, Andy Jones, sure. Maybe even two coaches. Do we have the money? Yeah. They don't want too much money and there's 13k to spare so who can coach what coaching goalies both of them are decent let's put Monroe as a goalie coach so defense Andy Jones the Reds defensive trainer so can are you better uh, offensive coach. Feel sorry then. Okay, not you. Good average, good average. I guess Leon, who can stay on as an offensive coach. And 
physical training. To you or the skill coach. The trainer's kind of trash, but whatever. So that's the staff. What about our roster right now? Our roster. It's kind of weird. We should. Do we just have like a bunch of. now okay so the AI for some reason made a lot of moves here what are we gonna do you're gonna come up at least for now we have Romani who would need to play uh, Rubrik one It's Prelusky, you can go down to Wheeling. Prul probably as well, unless you go... Yeah, you can go down as well. And we'll move them around if we need to. What is our contract situation like? We have 43. Oh, that is a lot already. So you two gotta get the clarity on which one of these two we'll keep. So we have Luca coming back. It's gonna be interesting without Crosby, see how it all shapes up. Good and go. I feel like that second line can stay together, maybe. But what do we do with the first line then? That's a whole other question. How do we do it? Let's see. Good letter would be normally there. There. Just assume that G will play the center. Maybe. How good are you? Where are you? There you go. So you would be a center. Great offensive reach, so yeah, definitely a playmaker. And Rubrak, what would you be? You have good getting up, and you could play a sniper technically, or a counter attacking forward. It's a pretty decent defensive category. with your line mates, okay. You two should be good together. Yeah, for sure. So I go like this. Maybe, no, no, no. We already have McGrory playing that two-way role. And Mijatovic. Not the greatest getting open. Let's say you would play the first line as a... You played that and you played a 
power forward. She were actually good as a screener. Did a lot last year. Still lack that like top end sniper. Couple of guys who are kind of right there, but not really. So Stenburi, you need to play a center somewhere. You're so damn cute as well. Attacking thing. Just match lines, maybe? Or... Could we flip... Bear for a snipe. What's the free agency looking like? Any super good scoring forwards? Kachuk, Perfetti, Beck Melenstein, so. which is a bit old. Kachuk. He's 28. This Brady would be good for the first line. Same with Perfetti. Perfetti would be 26. He only had 9 goals last year. Doesn't seem to score all that much anyway. Oh, oh, oh. I know Koi Wooden is a sort of a shooter, but. Top end guy, not so much. Let's see, getting open. Let's start with that. So Rubrik is actually one of our better shooters. Players, if you consider sniper role. Could technically play him as Clementor shooter, was it? The one that he uses. No, which one? New yeah, perimeter shooter. Yep. Yep. So if that was the first line, that would be the second line. Gavin does work in the third. Um, you cannot play a wing, can you? You could learn, but with those face-offs... I think Gavin would replace Bros. And Bros would be replaced by... Stem body. Look at this. And if Randa kept on playing like that, what about Samoskovich? We have been playing him as a two way. He's great at, as a counter attacking forward. So again, we would need a. We take.
to do a little bit of trading here to balance out our roster. Sure. Face-offs. Kevin is already there. Hmm. This is a tough one to figure out. So right now we could can definitely let Bear go. We keep. Rose over him, although Bros is older. We keep Koivonen, Erwin Romani and Bear would be out. We'd need... Defender and a proper sniper, and the sniper would... Out of the lineup. So let me switch you two around. Are you any good at anything? Not really. So Moscovich. Just good as a counter attacking forward. Um, kind of want to keep Paranta, but he is. He's like 27, he's already 28, so he's not getting better. Uh, you can't play. Can you play left side at all? Not really. Learn. About Lambert. Gonna suck as a left wing too. on the block. Let's start with that. Any snipers? On the goalies, one bell. Sergacha would be there. He is 30 years old. Training's not a sniper. Uh, Yanni Gord already 36. Bunting, no. Okay, so no shooters. So ever and no defender that we want. We we are yeah. We'd need to spend at least like ten million to just hit the cap floor now. Which could mean we could use like Brady Kachuk probably. First line, but that would be only a temporary solution. And that would move Rubrik down, maybe move Miatovic down and Ranta out. We could go with 
Brady as long ago to him, like four years. Well, say he starts declining now, he, his speed is already down to 14, so that's kind of a problem. Yeah, I'd prefer Perfetti. Tendency to disappear. But he might work. He should be getting better for a while. He can play a decent defensive game. What about we if we go with Cole Perfetti? Try to get him for four years. Uh, three or four. I mean three would make most sense. We do have these extensions coming up, but we are also dropping a few contracts, so that's a thing. Dilemma at hand. We probably should extend the people we want to extend first. See how everything shapes out. Luca. Five years would put him with McGrory. I would like age, but he probably wants a Rich. What is he asking? He's asking 4.4143. 4, what does that mean for us? If we wanted 8, we'd have to pay him away over that. What would he say if we just offered him 5.5 for 80 years? With a no trade, just go. He didn't move at all with the money or the turn. Okay. And even six would be saving money in the long run. Yeah, he doesn't move at all. Like no way, no how. Hello, Seb. How's your... How's your... Day, huh? I don't come down at all with this. Like, 4 by 3 Nope. Not at all. 4.15, just to make it an even number. So that would be one deal. G would be a five-year extension, would make him 32. That feels like a bit much. He wants eight by three. I mean, three years sounds good. 8.4, mm, maybe not. It's like cross, well, not quite cross be level with the cap. Going up. Starting with like 7.5. Let's be reasonable here. It's down to 8.4. 7.8. Okay, so. Let's try to save a little bit of money here. 7.85. That's an extra five with. Oh, and we have Howe as well. He wants a bridge. For sure. 4.4. Does he move at all? That would make him 30 years old. Let's see. We're gonna try. Six mil by eight. Do you move at all? You move a little bit. Okay. He 
has proven to be a goal scorer. It is a bit risky to go eight years on him, but again, it would save money in the long run. So he did move a little bit with that demand. He's going down. 6.5 final offer, or we will go down to a three years and make that bridge. Okay. Down to three. He will be a restricted free agent. We go down to four mil. 4.1. That's kind of good. Okay. 4.15 there as well. Mm, defensively, though, we are kind of... Keep our defensive guys. We'd have Luca and Owen going forward. We should be enough if we keep Alcos. Huh. And then there's the Goldie situation as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, seven contracts now. Do we sign anyone for? It would be the 2029 guys, these. Uh, Santala, for sure. Oh, he was playing. Okay, he can play in the college. It's okay. We can save every one of these guys until the end of the year, probably. Inkinen has turned out to be nothing. We can drop his rights. Can be something, you can be something. Okay. Guess we're not signing anyone right now. We can check this out at the end of the year. This situation, though, is a bit of a pickle. Because I kind of want to... Let's see. Who scored goals last year? With the usual veterans, any younger snipers out there? Okay, let's see, let's see, standing stats with no player stats. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Rebuilding teams. You're rebuilding. Oh. No. Half the Atlantic Division is rebuilding. Same here. What is, who do you guys have? On the left side, you have Gavin McKenna, but you probably don't want to give him up. You're not good enough. Like one like twenty six ish years old guy who can just score goals. And who would that be? Eklund? Maybe? Nope. 
Boost Chin. No. Boost it. And no. And no, this is actually harder than I thought. See, this is a good spot to try four offensive lines instead of the usual setup. I'm kind of missing the bits and pieces to do it properly. Unless we go like this. And send you down. Makes it 23, but that's still one extra guy. How old is Romani? He's already 22. Good. Pack him up with something to get a get something. What would that something be? A third pair defensive guy, maybe? Someone slightly better than Bianni Niemi. In the same role. Second pair right side. Two way guy Valkos could play the third pair. That's an option. So, what if. Let's see. We edit our needs a little. Can take someone up to 20, let's say 26 year old, with two and a half star minimum ability. And say minimum potential. Contract expiry doesn't matter, cap hit doesn't matter. It'd have to be a right D. Okay. Trying to trade Romani for active needs. Only draft picks, okay. What about Romani? Was he not a right wing? Am I blind again? Offering players at all, okay. Oh, he's a word. Oh, there are some. Okay, completely missed. Fraser Minton, no. Salomonson, no. Oh, fuck me. The mouse is so damn. Uh, what am I even looking for? Trading. Here we go. So, Conrad von Dirk. No. Uh, Cooper Williams. No. No. Anything good here? Like at all. Like maybe we... Get a few years off and or a few years younger, and he seems like a decent guy. LaBelle, a center left wing. Um, I'm not crazy about this guy, but I guess he kind of could work eventually. Who's the other guy I was looking at? Was it Louis Pen? No. Uh, Valarus, a left wing slash right wing. I need a lot of work. I 
thing is there are interested parties at least. Asher Gingras. More of a power forward than anything. And obviously with those face-offs he would be a center. And then again with that defensive read a bad center probably. Dingman. It's like a two way guy. Uh, maybe a counter attacking forward. And see, we're even passing. Let's see, counter attacking. A little bit more speed and defensive read. He's only 19 and a big guy as well. You should be on your entry level, yep. Okay, that actually might be the trade. Just get Romani out and kind of get a similar player just a few years down the line. That would be trading with the Flyers though. Which might buy this in the ass eventually. Actually, a decent two-way center. Not bad at all. But... It should be a two-way deal. He's probably someone who gets waved when the season starts, unless we keep him up. I think we gotta take the trade with Philly. Unfortunately. But do we want a second round or Sawyer Dingman? Dingman's probably the better option. He wasn't... He's decent, right? Nothing wrong with him. A little prone to controversy, but... And he's got that leadership value already, so maybe a future captain? Just needs a year or two. Yeah. We're we're gonna take that trade. We gotta move Romani out, he just doesn't fit. What are we trying to do here? He would be... I can make him a left wing. Eventually. And if that was the case, he would... Go there. As a shooter. Let me force him on the left side. Mark Des now. He's a gold scorer already, so that would be the third line. He would have a great center in Stanbury at least, and Samoskovic should be able to do the defensive side. And Randa would be the guy left over on this team, and he is the oldest on the team as well. Need to trade him. Randa and something for a second pair D. Three years at 8.5 for Sergachev. He could be the move. Bring in a veteran. He's gonna start getting worse already, so. 
Maybe not. I mean, he might not, but if he does... We'll see about Sergej. We sim a day, get the uh, extensions in, and then we see what it looks like for Sergachev. How about... Gotta check our scouts real quick. We 20 everywhere, yes, so we don't need to... We don't need to hire anyone new. The next season might be a full disaster without any real defensive lines or anything. We'll see. Uh, we have one deal. Dean Letourneau has been moved to Calgary from Edmonton for Matt Coronado. And Coronado's pretty decent. And Michael McLeod has gone to Winnipeg. Adam Lowry moved to Boston for Riley Duran. Blake Lissad moving to the Flyers for Shamar Moses, who is a pretty decent prospect. Nikolai Chabukin gone to Vancouver for Victor Söderström. And that's it. We should have our oops, extensions in place right now. We have Schneider and Gooley giving up a couple of mil if needed. Trade Romani, we don't need to extend him. We have Gavin though. We'll go on a bridge deal, so that's gonna be three years. Oh, he wants a five year bridge. Straight to UFA, huh? Now we can do a three year bridge. 3.75, how about it? Maybe you want five. You can't get five. Be 3.8. Okay, he went down to four years. Which is already good. 3.6 for 3.5 for four years. Should leave him as a restricted free agent. We move Ranta, we probably need to move Goywunen as well. idea about our goalies. Hmm. <laughs> Rachero will need a deal. I mean, that is probably where we are gonna save some money. Does he want some stupid no? to give you that and make it a one-way deal as well nine hundred K you are not coming down all that much huh oops wrong button He's asking for less now. What if I give you even less than what you're asking? You're haggling all the way down there. Oh, well, I, I can go even lower. How about 850? Okay, well. 865 for three. Cool. I'm not sure he knows how negotiating works. But yeah, we might want to go for Sergachev. He would be old. But... Mm. 
Yeah. Keep PN in the enemy as a 7th T. And if, what did Sergachev have? Like, was it 3 years? Yeah, 3 years. So. It would be the same as Radivojevic. And how? Add eight mil. I mean, obviously we can. We need the eight mil just to hit the floor here. Okay, so Sergacha would be a piece to acquire, maybe. Okay, free agents? No, no, no. Trading block. Question is what? Does Utah want from us if we're gonna get Sergachev? Unless he even. He might block the trade, and he does. <sighs> well, uh, screw you then. Uh, is there anyone we could go for? Not really. Ronick's not bad. He's on a three year deal as well. So, you wanna come here? Or are you blocking the trade too? Okay. Ronick would actually wanna come here. He doesn't perform well in big games. Well, we just have to make you perform, right? If we were to acquire him. So we are moving Romani for sure. And Noranta. Neither of them is... A, no, we're not moving Romani. We're moving Ranta and... Who was it? Someone else. Uh-uh. at least. Anyone's rights by any chance? You have like 20 year olds here. Yeah. Uh, I could give Saitha for sure. But... Chinsky, Feebeger probably would be one. We had Wilczynski. And who else? What are the Canucks even doing? They are interested in prospects and picks. Gotta get rid of Goyvunen as well, right? He could be a piece. Prakash, maybe. Goyvunen is way older, though. Still has a couple of years to improve, and he's a. Uh, that would be a bit too much, maybe. I don't know. Galliano, just throw him in. A second round pick. Maybe. So they'd get Ranta, who was just a Selkin nominee. They'd get Vilchinski, a defensive prospect. They'd get Galianov, a forward prospect, and a second round. Probably not gonna go through, but we can try. We get plenty of time. Oh, they want to do it. Got that second pair D now. And 
um, yeah. Maybe we'll choose Ski. Probably we're gonna get Ice Sam on the Canucks team pretty soon at least. And Galyanov. Could be anything in the end, we'll see. Get the veteran. Take your place for now. And you will take Bian in his place. You will stay on as a seventh D. Uh, yeah. And we have Koibun and Bros and Bian is extras. How are we on the cap? Uh not enough. Okay. What does that mean then? For us. It means we could use someone younger in either of these positions, maybe. Maybe maybe. Well, free agency and hold on. Got per the perfetti situation. Uh, I don't want to get that line going. Do we need perfetti anywhere? Unless I brought. No, no, no. Oh, wait. You. Like, Pelagi is 27, right? Gunler, 26. Perfetti would be 26 as well. But then Rubric could work with Stamburi. Got their chemistry going like that. And Romani would be the odd man out again. Got Cole Perfetti there as a to play as a wing. Well the other way around. Oh, are you What's your face off? But you're great at face off, so. That if would fit in his age. Is there something bad about him? No, well, tendency to disappear. So that's always a big red flag, but. But. What kind of deals are these guys on? You have two years, you have four, so if we could get Perfetti for four years. And then we would be kind of tied to the idea of playing four offensive lines instead of... Uh, kind of the usual setup, maybe. Coming up as a goalie to replace either Bloom Crystal or Barsteady. Then we have Owen Hayden. He's 19, he would replace Goalie in a couple of years, maybe. He's a two way though, right? He's playing as a stay at home. Really? Okay, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Those guys. Then there's also the fact that we need to find power play time for Rubrik and Stambury somehow. And there and Perfetti would there, how Panamara Pusti? We have McGrory, I'd say McGrory, keep that line together. And Rubrik would be on that spot. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. How would we fit Stamberry then? Instead of McGrory? He's tied up for a long time. I'm going to give him my stem too. Can I have a third power play unit? We could play Stamberry instead of Hronek on the power play. Just to give him some ice time. What about the PK then? That would work. That would work. Uh, Kevin would be there. Looks kinda good. Hronek. Oh, hold on. Can you play defense? Yes, you can. Alcos, what about you? You're good too. And you're the younger guy. But Give Thronek PK one Schneider and Gooley. Yeah. Though Thronek only the right side, Alco on the right side. Okay. I was thinking if I could play Schneider and Gooley as a pair, but doesn't seem to work like that. Can do this. Maybe that out of there if we get Perfetti. So Perfetti for me would be no slots. Uh, go even and just scratch you. Okay, that might look decent, so we'd get rid of Romani. So we could get rid of Bros, if Romani can play center. I mean, he can, not the greatest at it, but he is a couple of years younger. Let we get rid of Tristan Bros, let's say that. And get Perfetti. Okay. You can't see that happening. What was four years? Yeah. Four years. That would be probably one year sucking, then three year. Not even sucking. If our tactics work, we should have. At least like a two, three year window opening up for another cup win, maybe. We do gotta secure Perfetti first, though. Make Melenstein. That's a pretty damn decent two way forward. Maybe even straight up defensive forward. Which one? He's a bit old, though. Yes, yeah, so. Perfetti. Would you like to join us for four years? You want to know, Trent, that is okay. Give me like four years with the no trade that you want. And probably someone else will try to get him as well, so we might as well start a little bit lower. Four times eight. I could go even longer with him, but at this money. We do offer him that deal. Let's see where we go with it. Yeah, okay. So that's the current plan. Let's see where we end up with all of this. Okay, a lot of news from the league. Have our extensions. Perfetti is okay. There's Connor Hellebuck has moved to New Jersey. They get Kudryav in return. Not a bad deal, in a way. Hellebuck is old, but still pretty damn good. And then there's the usual buyout day. A lot of 
people getting yeeted from their teams. No one we should care about, though. Oh, the Ducks let Bono go. And no one swooped in with Perfetti yet. And just as I say that, someone does swoop in. Who's the bitch Toronto? Okay, well, what are they giving? Oh, they're giving you 10 mil. Oh. Well, shit. That would be too much. Put us in a bad spot eventually. Yeah. What kind of extensions? So we're gonna get 5.8. It's gonna be let's see eight and a half. Gonna go up. Go up in salaries at least 16 million next year. With this setup, it'd be at 85. If we add Perfetti, that would be at least 95. And then we'd need to sign Go Lease. Mm, I feel like 10 mil is a bit too much. We gotta find. Gotta find someone else. I guess Romani gets to play. After all, which means Rubric will be out. We are gonna make Romani into a left wing. So, back to this plan. So, Romani would be on the power play. Do I want to do this? Could switch it out like this, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, sure. Uh, no changes there, except well, it doesn't matter. Someone who can play defense, like, a little bit. You're already there. Uh, you're already there. Yeah, well, guess that'll do. Pulici and Kudler, probably, then. Yeah. The problem is, we still need some one more expensive. Need someone with like a three mil cap hit. Just to get to the salary floor. So maybe trading bros is still on the agenda. Get a little, little bit more expensive extra center. Just for a little while. Alex Tetterbody, maybe? I mean, he's not a bad, like, overall. Not bad at all. Very, uh, no. Can anyone play defense? Rasmussen can. Would it be a waste to. Keep him as an extra. He's a little bit slow, but on the skates, that is. Um, well, apparently he's a little bit slow otherwise as well. I just have him for one year at whatever he... Oh, he wants 9 mil? Really? Are you actually? <laughs> no. Okay. 
anyone else? Well, Ferrier was there, but mm, can't really play his center. Okay, we already had. Did we have Rosichka once? Yeah. It's Farinacci. So it has to be Ted Terberry, huh? We could tie him down for like 3x3. Three three. Just to get over the floor, but then. No, what, if, what about just one year at 3 mil? And then we'll reevaluate. It's way more than. Oh, I'd need to give him a. Hasn't he had an entry level deal yet? No, he's a. Uh, okay. Well, that doesn't help me at all, but I could just sign him. Do I need him? Not really. So. That's a no. It's got way too hard all of a sudden. So, Ottinger on the trading block. I only need a center though. Preferably with one year left. Center, no one good. Morgan Geeky. He looks like a two-way at least. Yeah. He wouldn't be a bad choice. He would be expensive enough. Okay. Boston. I might be coming to you in a bit. Nazem Kadri? Hehe, <laughs> no. Uh, anyone else? Not really. William Carson again. Didn't want to come here earlier, so I don't want you now. So can we get Yiki, maybe? We could. And who was that I wanted to yeet? Tristan Bros. Okay. I could do, do this just one for one. But as my scout is saying, we're offering a little bit too much. They don't have any picks. Can I still get one? Like a fifth? No. Give me a sixth. I'm sure I'll find something. No. You're a dick. Uh, even seventh? No. Fine. One for one then. I just need that cap hit. How about that? Okay, so we are gonna trade one for one. Tristan Bros to Boston for Morgan Geeky. It is done. And we are 1.9 mil above the cap floor now. Very good. So that's going to be our team. And these are going to be our lines. Rubrook. Gonna get a big chance with Pelagi and Gungler on that first line. Second line will remain the same. Third line. Probably going to do something. Maybe not. And fourth line is full of promising guys. Hopefully they can just get enough minutes to become better players. Rubrook is going to take that. I'm missing anyone anywhere else. Uh, no. Nope. And we lost our captain and one of our assistants, so... Let's see. Mental ratings. Leadership. Pelagi can stay as an assistant. Bonomario looks like a best leadership, and I think we're gonna go Pelici will be the captain now. Bonomario assistant. Well, this game says alternate. I guess that's a whole different discussion. And one of these guys, I guess Owen Power will be second alternate. Get one defenseman a letter. 
Okay. That's gonna be that. And tomorrow is a draft lottery again. Where did we land? I think we were like number six in the lottery. Which means we do have a good chance to go up, but also a good chance to go down as well. And... Is that it? What do we have? We have... Plenty of room as far as contracts go. Should we send some of the guys? We have... We'd have to sign anyway. There's five. Um, pro, you want to play college? Do you have house? Or AHL defense? There's plenty of people. What about uh, anyone stuck in wheeling from last year? No, it's just the goalies. Okay, well. Oh, well. Okay. I have this feeling I forget something. Holy crap. Philadelphia and San Jose are both chasing Rasmussen, who wants nine million dollars. There are plenty of crazy people out there, huh? So draft lottery, we are sitting at number seven now. Tampa with two picks, Utah with two picks, and Calgary holding on to that number one. So let's get ourselves to number ten to start here. Okay, so nothing changes below ten. So LA stays at ten, Montreal stays at nine, Utah stays at eight. Now, come on, fingers crossed. The Penguins, we jump. Also, St. Louis jumps. Okay. Okay, this just got interesting. We should be in the top three, right? So, the Caps drop to six. Chicago drops to five. I mean, we might be number four. So. Nope. We did get top three. The Islanders drop to four. So, the last three, Calgary holding on to the number one, and then St. Louis and Pittsburgh, who are jumping. Number three will be... Calgary! Okay. Does that mean we are number two? Probably. Boom! Oh, we get number one! We fucking get number one! before it crashes and we drop to like out of the first round well I didn't prepare myself for this at all uh, okay shit let's get to the draft then uh, so I'm going for pretty good chuck we are number one and that's it oh yeah we traded our number two just now. Kifra Bellows has been traded to LA for Gavrikov. What else? Tyson Dick. And Joe Higgins packaged for Francisco Arcuri. Parker Snell traded for Parker Kelly. Oh, Snell's not bad. Three and a half star potential there. Uh, Ryan Hartman going to Tampa for Isaac Howard. So pretty big for Tampa to let Howard go. Only 19 points last year. But should be pretty decent. Jake Aiken moving around again. This time to the Rangers. For Benjamin Strinden. Now Chankowski traded for Matt Luff. Not a big deal. Amadeus Lombardi, who was waived like a dozen times last year. Gone to Minnesota for Philip Gustafsson, who they've been trying to trade for a good while. Brady Shea gone to Toronto for Dennis Hill. Debut. They get rid of their goalie again. Who do they have now? They still hold on to Spencer Knight, which is 
kind of nice considering they gave up mono for him. Chovila Legio, Trace for Chase Lang, Leo Carson has been traded from Anaheim to the Devils for a Kirill Semyon of an old Russian dude, but also the Devils giving up their first round pick. And in all fairness, you will not get a player like Garson with that pick, so I don't know what Anaheim's doing. I guess they can they not afford Garson's extension, or what's the deal here? They're sitting at 88 mil. Oh, but they're gonna have to send Seagrass at least. And Malcolm Spence, they do have some big deals, and Minchuko, so. I guess they were kind of forced to move someone. So, rookie draft. Well, hello, Roos or Poo. Do we want to draft Poo? Maybe. Well, it's one of the two, at least. That's a big Poo. 191 and 101 kilos. So, Leon. Bruce, a Swedish center. Looks like a complete playmaker already. Well, I'd say like could play in the NHL if we wanted to. Um, nothing, nothing great about the scouting report, but. Uh, Nothing bad either, so Roos will be a solid choice if we go with him. And then there's Canadian right wing Liam Poo. Maybe he's Poo-A, just to not get called Poo all the time. Uh, cannot play defense, doesn't really matter with a wing that much. We could use a like, good wing going forward. I think our most of our right wings, at least, are like two way guys. He is a shooter. Definitely a shooter, which I do like. He is already considered a goal scorer. A little prone to controversy. Um, the dude has won a lot of things already, though. Under 18 gold. What is this? Two All Star nominations. And AH. How did you win AHL championships? You haven't even played there. 24 25 championships. You were playing Western Canadian Hockey Academy at the age of 14 when the game claims you won AHL championships with Syracuse Crunch. And that's also twice right there, so not quite truthful, this thing. Now that's... These things are right. Okay, well. Maybe this is a region that didn't quite work as expected. Someone who retired at the end of the year and won the AHL with Syracuse. Anyway, uh, I wouldn't mind a scoring wing. Can make him a left wing too. Would be ready. Not quite yet, but I'd say two years. He could maybe take like Gundler's spot. Eventually, oh, good blood has two years left. He'll be UFA. He'll be hitting his peak. He's pretty damn good, though. Hasn't produced so. Also, Bonomario. Thinking about that Swede that's unavailable there. 
they on Rus? One of Mario's just. Like a superstar, but all around pretty damn decent. But again, kind of stuck in that 40 50 point range. Okay, so one or the other. Hmm. I mean, Roos is pretty damn good. has. He has a lot of experience losing in the finals. Four silver medals, one bronze. Playmaking center who could turn into a wing as well. Be ready to go when like Pelleci or Bonomari will start to trail off. Maybe, maybe kind of same age range as Stamburi. I mean, I guess I have to hate myself for a couple of years here and pick a Swede as a first overall. I like Gruz better than. the way it has to be. Leon Roos first overall to the Penguins. Thank you very much. So the Blues, they get Pooh. Then we have Karjalahti is an interesting one. Calgary at number three picks Maddox Schultz. Oh, would you look at this guy. So sweet, that's already good to go in the NHL. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, uh, Islanders pick Matthias Kaza. Faj. Where are you from? Norway. Matthias Kaza. Okay. I have Chicago who take Karjalahti. Okay, I have to hate him. Sorry. And... Who's the guy? Uh, Spellquist is who I want to see where he goes. Uh, Washington takes Ryan Mimak, Columbus takes Partsvania, Brent Black to Montreal, no, to Utah, Montreal picks Jaden Pominville, getting closer to that Spellquist pick, LA, there's Brock Birch, Tampa, no, he, they take Peter Holubar, Milan Kutsevich to San Jose. Kasimir Nozanen to Utah. Oh, that's a Theodor Jakobsen to Tampa. Toronto picks Helmer Marcus. So nobody wants Spellquist for some reason. Thought he would have been taken by now. Detroit, time mode. Winnipeg, Rasmus Herman. They are going around this guy. Florida, Von Lakovic. Lakovic, one or the other. Kara Belicia to Vancouver. Seattle takes Justin Wathier. Finally! F no, of course it's Philadelphia, for fuck's sake. Milos Belkvist to Philadelphia. Okay. We don't have a second round pick, so we are just getting scraps afterwards. Let's pick until human. We are in the third round. Number 67. Well, there are two three-star potential guys. A goalie and a left wing. Could use the left wing at least. Another sweet. Leo Kinnersche. Good puck handler. And that's about it. Okay. Um, nothing bad about him in this. Tobias Orechovsky, a chick goalie who will never be anything probably yeah. 
there's just nothing available, so might as well take Kinnersche. There we go. And we will pick again. Do, do we have two thirds? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, well. Um, that's a big boy, whatever that is. Brady Elbert. Are you a defensive D? Stay at home. Good stick checking. This is one of the projects that would be maybe NHL ready in five years or so. Controversial follow. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, hey, this is like an old FHM problem. No Canadians or US born players available. Just Europeans all over. You a DFT. Still big. Stay at home. Okay. Yeah, defensive defenseman. Could take Josh Ratchich unless there are red flags here. Won't be well liked. Mm. Well, I'll take that chance. Josh Ratchich. Penguin, then we go to the fourth round where we have one pick. Running out of two and a half star. Two and a half star Romanian. What? It says he's from Romania, but this says he's. Oh no, no. Sort of. Flag wrong. He's also part Italian. Okay. Okay. Should I pick him? Oh, he's overager though. No. Not gonna go for him. I have some 17 year olds. There's a center Setla Czech. From Czech. Uh, absolutely dreadful stats. I like any good. Any good scouting reports? Like someone thriving in the spotlight or anything? A big game performer who has fragile legs. So maybe misses half a season always, but performs well when it's needed. I mean, we might get lucky and he doesn't get injured. And another. Alexander Ratsin. Vulnerable head and torso, but seems to perform under pressure. And it might not be anything with that D scouting grade. It would be a risky pick. I mean, why not? These are throwaway picks, right? So. Gerard Andersson, a Swede, big game performer, who might need some leg implants later on. Get him, and Ratsin was the other one. Oh, he's already injured. If he is there in round 5, we are gonna go for him. Oh, he is, so Alexander Ratsin from Belarus. He's one of us. We have another 5th round pick. E. What do we need, like, right defense? Well, there's the overager Romanian guy. There's all the Canadians in the US bosses. Liam McFadden? Can play both sides, he's only four, 14, what? 17. Great stick checker, and that's about everything he is. Sure. We'll see what he becomes in like six to eight years. Round six going on. Castellucci still there. 
Got a 17 year old German. No, we're going down to like absolutely horrible prospects now. Another Swedish center. We don't need any centers or left D. That's an overage guy. Let's get the overages out of the picture at least. So, and you just have to be a lefty. I mean, I could change him into a righty. He's almost there. Well, he's just. Eh. Why do you all suck so bad? Get a wing. Left wings. Couple available. Uh, you are above. 17 years old, can't play both sides already. Great passer. Might be like a bottom six guy. Controversial follow, never mind. Lucas Roin is on. A Swede, or so they claim. Doesn't look bad. As far as the scouting report goes, looks absolutely terrible. Otherwise, probably not like we'd have any good choices left anyway. The right side, not really. We have Yannick Weber. I can't take him with that name. Swedes and checks. Like a power forward, maybe. Like a long shot. Alexander Said from Sweden. I think it's a setup map for some reason. Although, hey, he had 15 defensive read as a 17 year old. And he is absolutely trashed as far as he's. But it goes okay. Okay. You guys are the ones who think the most of yourselves in the end. Two sinners again. A Chaos Millen. It's a big guy. Fine, I'll check out Yannick Weber. I don't like the name because one of them has already played in the NHL. Fragile hands and vulnerable legs. Maybe he could play. Well, these are just what a shit show. These last picks. We're in round six. We even have three rounds. I'm gonna just. Trade those round sevens away. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. I don't wanna use them. Who wants picks? Like, really, who wants picks? Uh, Calgary wants picks. Okay. How about you get seven, seven, and seven? And give me a fifth, maybe? No, I don't have a fifth. Fifth all the way there. Okay. Okay, well, I'll take a sixth next year. Thank you. Let me just do this last pick and take. Could take the overaged Romanian guy. You haven't win that anything. Oh, you have? Okay. Division 2B Junior, so what is that, like 5th level of international hockey? Is there something bad about you? Uh, no, okay. Why is my camera getting all weird again? Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Now that's done. Let's take the overage. Why not? Get a Romanian guy playing in the league. 
Here we go. And that is the 2028 draft all done. Oh, he Ru Rus was not predicted to be number one, but here we go, nonetheless. That's the trade we did with the pigs. And we save the game. So Rus will Hayden could play. Maybe we just sign him and we can send him down to A next year. I think he will be back in the Julius this year. And what Drus? If we sign him now, he'd be 21. And we could do a uh, breach deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get him signed straight away. Bring Castellucci over then. Where are you now? You fucking. What the hell kind of a league is this? Campionato Nacional. Is that like Romanian league? Let's get him out of there maybe. Get him playing real hockey. And we won't sign anyone else from our prospect pool. Uh, Alcos again being a dick, like last year as well. No comment. We might need to get rid of Alcos eventually if he keeps stirring shit up in the locker room. So, anyone good? Next year we'll have a Swiss potential number one pick already. Pretty much an NHL level player in Lionel De Dial. That's a name. Already had 103 points in the queue last year as a 17 year old. Okay. That's pretty decent. Sad that we didn't get to. That first, first overall pick next year. At least not yet. Never know how much we suck this year. So, do we have free agent signings now that the draft is done? Yes, we do. Who's got the big money? Cam York to LA for 6.6 .6 mil. It's Nick and... what? 29-year-old Nick Anderson, who is... Big fat nothing burger of a defenseman signs 8.8 .8 mil to San Jose. Okay. Uh, Rasmussen gets 8.1 from Dallas. Keandre Miller 7.2 from Boston. Cole Perfetti did get that 9.78 from Philadelphia in the end. So Toronto was out. Brady Kachuk to Winnipeg with a 14.45 million deal for six years. Jesus Christ. Wierenski picks up 10.8 mil from Vancouver over four years. Farabee to Mini for 6.78. So are some big hacking numbers. And as Odinger was on the block, Dallas gets Joseph Wall. For whatever reason. <laughs> Hi, Maggi. Winnipeg. I think we found your team now, huh? The Winnipegs. So, da -da 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 -da, we wait for our guys to sign. To see where we send them for the upcoming year. If we get this, see. 
simulation then over the next few years. Did I say I got a enshrouded server for a month? And the game is on sale now, by the way. Just saying. Uh, yes, we know Odinger is on the block. No one signed. I actually offer them deals. Yeah, they're just... How is a Swedish team ahead of us in the... Negotiations there. Come on, Rus. Don't be a dick. Okay, he says the deal. We might send him back to Sweden though, unless he can play in the AHL. Jesus Christ, he's 18 years old and already 15 as a playmaker. Well, so he could definitely play in the NHL. But if that happened, where would we put him? Mm, nowhere. We don't have the room for him, not really. Didn't we just extend Boromario? And even then... Even then... Rus would be a top six guy. Oh boy. So he would be like we could play him on the wing, but that would mean Rubrook would go down. To where Romani maybe is. Pretty good at face offs. Kinda. Maybe, no, we gotta send him. We gotta send him down for a year, maybe. Make him a left wing and send him down. a problem of having too many players again. We could move someone out to get a defensive prospect though. We can't move out anyone yet because we are again against the cap floor. Maybe like if we made him into a right wing So Moskovic is so good as a two-way forward. Hell shit. Uh, Gavin already great as well. What am I gonna do here? Well, Miatsovic is like a... He's 23 and way, 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 way behind in development, in con like in contrast to his potential. Eventually, he might be the odd man out. If we, mm. Yeah, Rus has to. 
He is an NHL player, basically, but we have to send him down for a year. Might come to a situation where we have to, like, retool very hard next year and just get rid of a lot of guys we don't want to part ways with, but kind of have to. We'll see. We'll get the other two guys signed in. I might call it a day there. Just a short stream today. Let's see, let's see. Liam Ögren, a five star prospect. Right wing with a first round and a third round pick. Go to Buffalo for a first and a third, and a four and a half star goalie prospect going back to Minnesota. Okay, so I don't understand the picks, but Menegin for Ögren seems kind of okay. Mad with that. Owen Hayden has signed and Castellucci has signed. Cool. So, let's see. Castellucci all the way down to East Coast. Possibly. I don't know. He can actually play in the AHL. Kind of like a fringe AHL, but still. And then Hayden, are you going back to the juniors? Yep. Back to Kelowna for a year at least. So yeah, we are sitting to about two million above the floor. We have our team the upcoming year and uh, yeah I'm gonna save it here and call it a day and go finally make some dinner so yeah so, thanks for hanging out for this uh, quick a little two hour bit try to be back tomorrow around six again that goes and uh, yeah hope to catch you then and until then take care have a good night and